I was in the eighth standard. I was reading a, la a random book in the library. I chanced upon a quote by Rumi. Inside you, there is an artist that you don't know about. Say yes quickly if you know, if you have known it from before the beginning of the universe. Yes! I said to the surprise of my classmates and the shh of the library. <laughs> Thankfully, the bell came to my rescue. The library period had ended. As I was walking out with my classmates, some of them told that there was an audition for a national level play contest. The first level, a state level contest, was happening between the teams from Karnataka and Go. And the competition was happening in Go. So I went for the audition. Now I did not go there being impressed and inspired by the Rumi quote. No. I had just never traveled outside Karnataka. So this was for the Goa trip. But the Toastmasters and guests, surprisingly, I got through the audition. Now if you think that it would make me filled with unbounded joy, you would all be completely wrong. Because I was scared. I wondered why had I got myself into this. I had to deliver a two minutes monologue. Now when I was a kid, I used to stand up quite badly. So I was scared that I would go on stage and stand. I was scared that I would forget my lines. And I was especially scared that people would laugh at me. How many of you have wanted to do something that has made you feel scared? Oh, great. So, in spite of my fear, I went right ahead with the performance because my teacher forced me to. I'm glad though that he did, because I discovered something I loved, performance arts. 10 years later, life had changed. I was 23, I was a software engineer, I was working in a company for over a year. I had just gotten a hike of 75%. I had no reason to complain, but I still felt a little hollow inside. It was a winter's night. I was in my room, sitting next to the window. It was snowing outside. Actually, it was not snowing. It was just very cold. But I had a mug of coffee in my hand and I was staring into the darkness. Something was amiss. I don't know what. I felt that the silence was gnawing at my peace. I really had no reason to complain, but I still felt hollow inside. Have you ever wondered if there is something more to life? Something that not only fills your pockets, that not only fills your time, but something that fills your soul. Something that makes you feel whole. Then out of the blue, uninvited, came this thought of me performing in my school play. I don't know why that image came to my mind. There was really no cue for it to appear. But in spite of myself, that image put a smile on my face. The very next week, I went for an audition of an amateur theatre group. The number of people who auditioned was equal to the number of characters in the play. So everybody got it, <laughs> including me. I think after that, life has been honored by a feeling of wholesomeness more often than not. I got to perform in a few plays and short movies. I even wrote a couple of plays and short movies. And I perform and tour with a contemporary dance group. We tend to feel that practicing some form of art is a luxury only available to children or lazy people called artists. But I believe that it is a privilege available to every individual. It is a nicely packed box of gift kept outside your house that most of us fail to open because most of us fail to 
even see it. Now may I request all of you to please close your eyes. I know it's becoming a trend, closing your eyes, but please humor me. I promise you that your belongings will be safe. Please close your eyes. Now, imagine that you are practicing an art form of any kind. Any kind really. It could be performance arts or literature, media arts like photography or cinematography, media arts, visual arts, it could be painting or sketching <coughs> or culinary arts. And by culinary arts, I mean cooking and not eating. <laughs> Imagine that you are practicing that art. What is it that you see yourself doing? You need not answer me. Just see for yourself. What is it that you would do if no one was watching? If there was no fear of failure? If you need not have to be perfect? What was it, the art that you did as a kid? that gave you a sense of flow, a sense of wholeness. When was the last time you practiced it? As Rumi has said, inside you, there is an artist that you don't know about. Say yes if you know, if you have known it from before the beginning of the universe. What is that art? Inside you. Now, those of you who are still awake, please open your eyes. Whatever you saw was only for yourself. Hold on to that image. Because after everything is said and heard, it's only the images that live inside our subconscious. <clears throat> now, there was this noted violinist and author called Stephen Nachomanovich. Yes, nice name. Stephen Nachomanovich. He said that creative work is play. It is your free speculation from the materials of your chosen form. My dear Toastmasters, I believe that practicing an art is not about perfection. It is about playfulness. It is not about growing up. It is about getting in touch with your inner child. The fun, the play, the enthusiasm that you had as a kid are not extinct. They are still well within your reach. You just need to kick aside all excuses. Fear of being bad? Your age? Lack of time? Kick it off. People's opinions, that's the biggest. Kick that off to the far off goalpost. Cast them all aside. When I had asked you to close your eyes, hopefully you saw an image of yourself practicing some form of art. Even if you didn't see, didn't see hopefully you have some art in mind that seems and feels interesting to you. Now, what was that image? What was the feeling that welled inside of you just when you recall that image? Hold on to that image and the feeling for a while. Make yourself a promise that you, uh, <coughs> sorry, you could open your eyes, please. <laughs> I said open your eyes. That okay. Now hold on to that feeling that comes inside you and make yourself a promise that you are going to practice, no, play with that art. If you do, a new world awaits your discovery. 